man, I thought I was done today, but I gotta make another video really quick, bro. Stop letting these women run your fucking life, bro. Stop letting these women manipulate you into doing what they want you to do. A lot of women, not all women, but a lot of women, we live in a day and age. First of all, I want to say a special shout out to anybody that's been holding on to your energy. It's been your boy. This is your boy, Moody Star, back again with another video. Uh, I, I, I mainly talk about retaining, but I also talk about like high vibration and shit, right? You cannot. It's, it's, it's imperative, bro, that we understand, like, bro, we are kings, my nigga. You feel me? We're not just pawns in somebody else's life. I'm going to have to, like, typically do this from time to time. But, yeah, some women will look at you as, as a pawn. They will look at you as an investment in the future. Now, what type of investment? It's all types of different types of investments that women have for you, okay? They'll try to lure you down, obviously, with sex. They try to get you now with sex, and then later on, hey, could you do this for me? It may not be financially, but it might be like you get what I'm saying. So, it'll be to the point where they they will always make you almost make you feel like kind of guilty and in, into trying to do something for them because y'all already have that 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 sexual relationship or just like that emotional connection. I'm here to tell y'all guys right now, bro. Fuck them, bro. Because the minute that you say you can't do something that's when they will attack you the minute that you say if they ask you for a favor and bro you have to wake up every single day and you have to know that like okay my day i'm gonna get what i have to do for me done first we're done putting women on a pedestal or doing shit or bending back over backwards to just just to help out a, a female bro when you are depleting yourself of your true of, of, of uh, staying on your path, the right path, your goal. This is how distractions happen, bro. You feel me? And then like, bro, I'm telling you, any female that you're dealing with, just know like she has already invested it in into you. You think you snatched it because you got the looks, you got the nice game and you got this and that going on. No, women, women are naturally in tune with mother nature they know about energy they may not make the most smartest decisions but intuitively they know what time it is so they know how to finesse niggas they know how to finesse the shit out of you because most guys are trapped in their lower uh chakras you feel me most guys are weak when it comes to sex so if you don't so a female that you're not having sex with and this is just in a day and age this is the day and age we live in right now a female that you don't have sex with doesn't doesn't really have power over you, damn near. Like, if you're not trying to chase the pussy, because first of all, women are biologically wired to actually chase men. We got it all fucked up. Men been chasing women for how many years now? And like now we just look weak and, and we look feminine now. You feel me? You know you know what type of message that puts brings off, first of all? If a guy is chasing a female, it's basically saying that my energy field, my aura field, my magnetism isn't as strong as yours. So a female, that's why females be getting turned off and shit. But they'll get turned off, but they'll be like, you know what? This shit could be an investment in the long run. I don't want to have sex with him, but he probably can. Uh, he could probably pick up. Maybe he, she has a daughter, so he could probably pick up. Well, not daughter. I say son. He could pick up my son and take him here, or maybe I could use him to do this, or maybe I could, maybe he could buy me McDonald's or whatever the fuck, bro. That's what these women do, bro. Everybody is an investment. We have to start looking at ourselves as our own true investment. We need to always put our investment first, ourselves first. Just because a female hits you up, hey, just do this, just do that, bro. If a female can't control, I mean, can't respect the fact that listen, you got something else going on. And if you tell them no and they feel some type of way, bro, you shouldn't be fucking with them no way. Because I'm telling you, once you tell them no, they're going to feel some type of way. You're confusing, you're this, you're that. And now they're going to try to say, oh, well, well, shit, if you don't do this for me, we're not hanging out. We're not going to have sex. Well, guess what, bitch? I'm not ruled by my fucking penis. I'm not ruled by my lower vibrational self. I'm ruled by my higher self. So what you trying to dangle in front of me, first of all, really won't, it really won't matter. This is what happens when you retain, bro. You start to see, like, everything is deeper. You actually look at a female for who she really is, not just the object. 
and not just a piece of ass. Because if you look at her as just a piece of ass, you could be, you can say, man, I got this plan to hang out with my boys. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That one time that piece of ass hits you up, that should deter you from your whole day. Hey, could you hang out with me? Or hey, could you do this for me? And it's like, let's just say y'all fucked already. Oh, that's even worse. Because now she's going to use that and try to guilt trip you. Like, oh, we all this time, da, 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 we're not going to hang out no more. We're not going to do this no more. I'm telling you, bro. It's not only the young females that's doing it, bro. It's older women that's doing this shit too. You have to understand that, like, they're on a biological clock. Their clock is ticking as women. They best years is early 21, 22, 23. Bitch, when they get to 28 and up, it's over. Saranara. So now they have to start looking at guys as different investments to try to survive. You feel me? And not like that ass serious. Not all women, but some women. Most women. This is what they do. So they won't even use you for sex. They could possibly just use you just to be a do boy. Now that shit don't sound alpha to me, bro. That shit sound beta as fuck. And it's plenty of beta niggas. Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's plenty of beta beta guys that get pussy every day, but they're pussy whipped. That's why I'm so confused. Why do niggas think like just because you got some pussy, that shit make you alpha. That, that shit makes you a man. No, the fuck it doesn't. It makes you a dumbass. You feel me? You're getting finessed nine times out of ten. Especially if a bitch break your heart. Oh, yeah, you got finesse, my nigga. She already knew what time it was. She seen that you was a weak, you you was weak in your aura and shit. Oh yeah, she finna finesse and use your ass for everything you got. And then she finna leave your ass alone. Cause a lot of women know and understand that some men wake up later shit. But when we once we actually wake up and get into our God consciousness, our God self, they already know what time it is. They it's, now they're gonna get pissed off. You feel me? And how do they battle that? They try to put, you know, their sexuality up. Like, oh yeah, oh I got a nice ass, I got a Bro, y'all should see some of these women, bro. This shit is fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous, bro. So, bro, don't don't stray away from what you got. If you got something planned today, and somebody and a, and a female hits you up, or even even one of your friends hits you up, don't deter from what your goals are, bro. Because they're not they're not gonna be there. They're not with you when you're alone and when you're struggling and shit like that. You feel me? It's okay if you want. Every now and then, it's okay to do a favor for people. I'm not saying be a complete asshole and don't do shit. But I'm just saying, like, you have to know, you have to put what's important first in your life. Straight like that, bro. I ain't, listen, bro, I ain't got the time to be sitting there trying to, you know, fit somebody's life. Or, or try to, like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of older women that are single, that got married and have kids and all that shit, bro. And they scared as fuck. That's why they talk to so many different guys. They don't have to be fucking so many different guys. But women, most women, especially after they prime, they're in survival mode, they, or they wanna, they want things to be taken care of, or they want younger guys with youthful energy like myself to do to be a a, a, a a sugar baby. That's what they call that shit now, a sugar baby. Oh, I'm gonna make a separate video about how older women really want to fuck with you when you are retaining, because now you're, bro, you. It's like you have the maturity of an older guy except you're not a weak older guy you get what i'm saying but yeah i ain't want to make this video too long well actually it's just whatever i i was about to get my day started but shit man i i had i had a, I had a bit trying to get get me to do some shit i'm just like yo vibe no i don't want to oh my back's hurt i don't give a fuck you better how many niggas you fucked and then fucked with bitch you better you better go you better holler at somebody else it ain't gonna be me. I don't care. You may not. You may lose potential mates and hoes and all that shit by having this type of mentality. But fuck them, bro. Because now they're just gonna be use you to try to build up their life. Fuck that. I'd rather be. What? Well, damn, bro. It was a quote, man, that I seen. Well, shit. It wasn't even a quote. They said. All right, I'm paraphrasing. But in the Bible, uh, I don't think. I think it's in Proverbs. I, I let one of y'all boys can look it up. But like. Uh, Solomon, I'm quoting. This is a quote that he said. Solomon said, "I'd rather be, I'd rather live in a, in a corner by myself than to deal with a quar, quar, uh, quarreling uh, wife or some shit like that." I'm paraphrasing. In other words, bitch, I love my peace. I love. Listen, this should be peaceful as fuck. When I don't have bitches in my in my life and talking to me and want to do this and why you not paying me attention? Oh my god. Oh, who you fucking with, bruh? This shit right now. I'm the most this is the most peaceful I've ever been in my life since I was born. 
I'm peaceful as fuck. You feel me? And I get to look at things from a different perspective and, and just look at it and be like, bro, I ain't fucking with this shit. Bitch, you could take it on to the next person. You've done this shit before. You feel me? But like I said, man, it's me, a Bowman Star. Shout out to everybody that's been holding on to your energy, bro. Man, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video, bro. Peace.